हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पॉइंट्स ऑफ फार्मा टूडे द टॉपिक इज लेह ऑल्सो नोन एज आवले लेह और आवले आर शुगर बेस्ड सेमी सॉलिड ओरल फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन द वेरी कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आवले इज चमन परास टूडे वी विल नो द प्रिपरेशन एंड स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ वासा आवले एंड चमन परास हेयर वी विल बिगेन विथ आवले फॉर्मुलेशन द कंपोनेंट ऑफ एन आवले फॉर्मुलेशन कैन बी कैटेगराइज और डिवाइडेड इन फोर कैटेगरीज विच इंक्लूड द्रप द्रप मीनिंग लिक्विड कंपोनेंट ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन कल्क द्रप मीन्स पेस्ट कंपोनेंट परिक्षेप द्रप मीन्स पाउडर कंपोनेंट ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन मधुर द्रप मीन्स स्वीटनिंग एजेंट एंड स्नेह द्रप मीनिंग फैट कंपोनेंट द कॉमनली यूज लिक्विड कंपोनेंट इन केस ऑफ आवले फॉर्मुलेशन आर सोरस मीन्स जूस क्वाथ मीन्स डिकॉक्शन एंड ही मीन्स कोल्ड इन्फ्यूजन द मधुर द्रप इंक्लूड शक्कर दैट इज शुगर गुड़ दैट इज जागेरी एंड मधु दैट इज हनी द स्नेह द्रप इंक्लूड घी एंड ऑयल दिस कैन बी बेटर विजुअलाइज बाई एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आवले फॉर्मुलेशन सच एज वासा आवले इन केस ऑफ वासा आवले द लिक्विड कंपोनेंट इज वासा सोरस इट हैज नो कल्क द्रव द परिक्षेप द्रव्यर इज पिपली द स्वीटनिंग एजेंट और द मधुर द्रव इन वासा आवले आर शुगर एंड हनी एंड द स्नेह द्रव्यर इज घी द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ एन आवले फॉर्मुलेशन इंक्लूड फोर मेजर स्टेप विच आर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द्रव्य द्रव प्रिपरेशन ऑफ कल्क और पेस्ट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पाक एंड देन एडिशन ऑफ परिक्षेप द्रव स्नेह द्रव एंड अदर कंपोनेंट टू पाक टू ऑफ टेन आवले नाउ कमिंग टू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ वासा आवले इन केस ऑफ वासा आवले द लिक्विड the component that is a drap by drap is juice of wasa fresh leaf which is obtained through put pak vidhi for put pak vidhi take fresh leaf of wasa and wash with water chop the leaf to pieces of size about 2.5 cm grind the chopped leaf into kalk bundle the kalk in big leaves of plant such as banyan tree Cover the bundle with about 2 cm thick layer of clay to make bolus. Dry the bolus in sun and then put it in fire till it becomes reddish. Now take out it from the fire, allow to cool, and then open the bundle. Strain the juice from the kalk through muslin cloth to obtain juice of wasa leaf. The next step is preparation of pak. For the preparation of pak, add sugar to liquid component of formulation, filter to remove foreign particles, and add 0.1 percent citric acid if needed. Heat it till pak lakshan appears. Now the point is, what is pak lakshan? Pak lakshan means a thread should fall between two finger. and the pak should uh, not spread or sink in the water once pak lakshan are observed proceed for the next step that is addition of prakshep drav add prakshep drav to pak with continuous stirring if needed add preservative add ghee and oil while the preparation is hot after cooling to room temperature Add honey to the preparation. Check it for quality and then pack. This is all about the preparation of aavle. Now coming to the standardization of aavle. We have already discussed what is standardization and what is specification. Link is given in the description. Here we will know the test required for aavle. For aavle, the first test required is description, which describes. the organolective parameters such as physical appearance color odor and taste we know avle is a semi solid formulation it means 
it has water content but the water content should be within limit so the next test here is to determine the loss on drying we know aple is a sugar based formulation so the test here required are to know reducing sugar content non reducing sugar and total sugar ph is also required in case of aple we know aple is a herbal formulation and in case of herbal formulation the two very important parameters are extractive value and ash value so here we will also know the water soluble extractive value alcohol soluble extractive value total ash as acid insoluble ash of aple and thiller chromatography is also required this test can be visualized by an example of vasa aple in case of vasa aple the description says it is dark brown sticky semi solid having ghee like odor with bitter and pungent taste the loss on drying in case of vasa aple should not be more than 12.16% the reducing sugar content in vasa aple is 44 to 45% the non reducing sugar content is 38 to 43% the total sugar content is 82 to 88% the ph of 10% aqueous solution of vasa aple is 4.35 to 4.9 the water soluble extractive of vasa aple should not be less than 60% and alcohol soluble extractive should not be less than 20% the total ash of vasa aple should not be more than 2.5 5% and acid insoluble ash should not be more than 0.15%. Vasa aple is also required to comply with the thiller chromatography test given in the pharmacopoeia. This is all about the standardization of vasa aple. Now coming to the chaman prash of ayurvedic formulary of india part 1. here the liquid component include decoction of 33 herbs these herbs are bilbe agni manthe suna gambari patala bala salparni prasparni mugdaparni maasparni pipli gokchur barahti kantkari sirangi tamalki daraksha jivanti pushkar agaru harit ki guduchi sati musta rakpunarnava ila swachandan utpal vidari vasa kaknasika out of 36 these 31 drugs are available in market and the genuine drugs are used the remaining decoction herb such as kakuli which is not available in market in case of kakuli withenia somnifera that is ashwagandha is used similarly for meda asparagus racemosus for rishbak pureria tuberosa for ridhi dyscoria bulbifera and for jeevak pureria tuberosa are used the decoction is prepared in water in case of chavanparas the kalk darab include amla pishti here the prekshep darab include bamsa that is tavasir pipli tavake ila tejpatra and nagkesar the madhur darab that is sweetening agent in case of chaman prash are sugar and honey and the sna darab here are girit and til tel now come to the preparation of chaman prash in case of chaman prash The first step is preparation of quat darab. Soak the coarse leaf powder quat darab in water. Heat the soaked darab. While heating, keep immersed a bundle that is potly of muslin cloth containing fresh amla. Keep potly immersed till amla becomes soft. Continue heating till the volume of water is reduced to one fourth. filter it through muslin cloth to obtain quat the next step is preparation of amla pishti remove the fiber and seed from boiled fresh amla 
Rub to prepare paste. Fry the paste with ghee and tell to obtain amla pishti. Properly fried pishti would release ghee and oil. The next step is preparation of pak that is leh pak. Add sugar and amla pishti to the filter cloth and boil to leh pak and then stop. The, leh, the assessment of final stage of leh pak is done by putting 2 to 3 grams of leh pak in a glass of water at room temperature. It will not settle down in water and it will not disperse at least 5 to 10 minutes. Now allow the leh pak to cool to 50 degrees centigrade. Now addition of prek chef drab. Add prek chef drab including preservative if needed and mix properly to homogeneous blend. Once cool to room temperature, add honey to the preparation. Check for quality and then pack. This is all about the preparation of chaman paras. Now coming to the standardization of chaman paras. The test in case of chaman paras are same as with other avale such as description, loss on drying, pH, Water soluble extractive, alcohol soluble extractive, total ash, acid insoluble ash, assay, and thin layer chromatography. In case of chaman paras, the description says it is chocolate brown, sticky, semi solid paste having sweet taste with none specific order. The loss on drying in case of chaman paras should not be more than 9%. The pH of 10% equal solution is 3.8 to 4.23. The water soluble extractive in case of chaman paras should not be less than 50% and the alcohol soluble extractive also should not be less than 50%. The total ash should not be 2% and the acid insoluble ash should not be more than 1%. The assay, the assay says the chaman paras should have gallic acid not less than 0.5%. And chaman pras is required to comply with the thin layer chromatography test as given in the pharmacopoeia. This is all about chaman pras. Hope you enjoyed the session. Soon we will meet with another topic. Thank you.